Hi everyone, I'm Chris and welcome back to the lecture on logistic regression of this machine learning course. This section is about the generalization of logistic regression to tackle multiple class classifications. Let us quickly reconsider a multiple class classification problem. In the previous section we considered the example of handwritten digit recognition. All digits from 0 to 9 are represented by different classes. Each class has a binary target variable. This is YL for the else class. It is 1 if the else digit is present and 0 otherwise. In the following, we consider capital L different classes. So we have capital L target variables Y. In general, we take capital K input features X1, X2 up to X capital K into account. The logistic regression model is limited to two class classification problems. Here we take a look on a generalization of the logistic regression, this softmax regression. Softmax regression can deal with an arbitrary number of capital L classes. The softmax regression uses the softmax function. This function is defined by the exponential function of a linear model. This linear model is denoted by s. The exponential function is normalized by the sum of all classes by L of this exponential expression. The softmax regression uses one individual linear model per class. This is denoted by SL. So L refers to the class. The linear model itself can be the one-dimensional linear model we used before with a single independent variable x. In more general, it can be the multi-dimensional linear model with capital K input variables x1, x2 up to x capital K. This gives the else linear model used by softmax regression. SL is beta 0 L plus beta 1 L times X1 plus and so on plus beta capital K L times X capital K. So every beta parameter has two subscripts, one for the variable, the other for the class of the linear model it belongs to. The letter here is highlighted in blue. The softmax function has a lot of useful properties. It outputs values for each class. The sum over all classes is equal to 1. This can be easily seen in the definition of sigma L. Further, the value range of the softmax function is always positive because of the exponential functions. Consequently, the values of the softmax function can be regarded as probabilities. Sigma L gives the probability for choosing the alt class. The softmax function is fitted to data by using a generalization of the cost function of logistic regression. This generalized version of the cross entropy includes the sum over all classes instead of the two explicit contributions. 
So here we have 1 over capital N, the number of data points in the training data, times the sum over all data points by I, and the sum over all classes by L, of minus YLI times the logarithm of sigma LI. The sum over I takes all data points into account. For the capital L target variables, YLI, the first index denotes the class. The second index refers to the data point. Here we choose a single independent variable X, so a single subscript I is used for the data point. The sum over all classes of this term ensures that the data point is taken into account exactly once. Only if the data point's true value for the else class is 1, it gives a contribution to the cost function. For the class of the data point, the model's output, sigma L, needs to be 1 to minimize the contribution to the cost function. The contribution of a data point to the cost function is large if model and true data point value differ. Softmax regression is for two classes equivalent to logistic regression. In the following, we prove this mathematically. This will help to understand softmax regression better. The softmax regression model is summarized on the left side. Now we consider a two-class classification analog to the logistic regression model. So capital L equals 2. Sigma 1 is the probability then for class A and sigma 2 is the probability for class B. The probability sigma 1 is given by the exponential function of the first linear model over the sum of this exponential function and the exponential function of the second linear model. The summation in the cost function over the two classes can be written explicitly. This leads to the two terms presented on the right side at the bottom in the cost function. The first is for L equals 1 and the second one is for L equals 2. Now, at first, let us consider the probabilities in more detail. To decide between class A and class B, we need only a single probability value. As we already know, the sum over all probabilities is equal to 1. For just two classes, this gives sigma 1 plus sigma 2 equals 1. Therefore, sigma 2 equals 1 minus sigma 1. This means if we know sigma 1, the probability of class A, 1 minus this probability gives the probability for class B. So here we need to consider only one of the probabilities. Let us choose sigma 1 which is again displayed on the right side. Now, we multiply numerator and denominator by the exponential function of the negative first linear model. The numerator simply reduces to 1. The same is true for the first term of the denominator. The second term leads to the exponential function of the difference of the two linear models. We can switch their positions, which gives an additional minus sign. We can write the difference of the linear models explicitly.
Then we can rearrange the terms. The differences of the individual coefficients are replaced by beta 0 and beta 1. Then the difference of the linear models can be substituted by a new linear model. It is beta 0 plus beta 1 times x. Then the probability sigma 1 is 1 over 1 plus exponential function of a negative linear model. So the softmax regression model with capital L equals 2 reduces to logistic regression. Next we take a look on the cost function. Analogous to the probabilities sigma 1 and sigma 2, the true values for y1 and y2 can be reduced to a single variable. If y1 equals 0, y2 needs to be 1. This is because the data point is either class A or class B. Similarly, if y1 equals 1, y2 needs to be 0. So y1 plus y2 equals 1 and thus y2 equals 1 minus y1. Using the relations between y1 and y2, as well as sigma1 and sigma2, the cost function becomes similar to the logistic regression cost function. In the resulting expression we can substitute y1 by y and sigma1 by sigma to get the same cost function. So the softmax regression model with capital L equals 2 reduces to logistic regression. Section finished. If you like this video, please click the like button and consider to subscribe this channel. If you have any comments or questions, please leave a comment down below. And thanks again for listening. See you in the next section.